In this day and age, when we are looking for original ideas in Hollywood, one of the craziest and stupid ideas is a live action movie based around a Nickelodeon TV series. But the overall turnout is actually pretty enjoyable and pretty fun. What's going on guys, this is Joshua Drake aka Future Filmmaker 3940 Zero Reviews where we talk movies, TV, and music and I am here to give my thoughts on Dora and the Lost City of Gold. And so Dora and the Lost City of Gold is the newest live action adaptation of a classic TV show from Nickelodeon. It stars Isabella Monier, Eugenio Derbez, Jeff Wahlberg, Eva Longoria, Benicio Del Toro, Danny Trejo, and Michael Pena. And it is directed by James Bobbin, who directed The Muppets and Muppets Most Wanted. So, ha and our story of Dora and the Lost City of Gold follows Dora, and she loves going on adventures and she, with her monkey boots. And having spent most of her life exploring the jungle with her parents, nothing can prepare her for her most dangerous adventure yet, and that is high school. So accompanied by a ragtag group of teens, I'll get to that, her cousin Diego and Boots the Monkey, embark Dora embarks on a quest to save her parents while trying to solve the seemingly impossible mystery behind a lost Incan civilization of gold. Now going into this movie, this was definitely one of my least anticipated movies of the year and I wasn't looking forward to it all that much because the idea of a live action Dora the Explorer movie was one of the craziest and stupid I ideas ever. Now there is plenty of great cartoons and TV shows made into successful movies like Spongebob, Scorpions, Kim Possible, Jimmy Neutron, etc etc but the idea of a Dora movie in live action was ridiculed by a lot of people myself included and originally Michael Bay was supposed to produce but when I found out that he wasn't producing I was happy but I was still very much skeptical especially from the marketing of this movie which the trailers were pretty bad and it made it look like a stupid family film and I gotta say after watching the movie for myself, thank God this is not this is nothing like the trailers. I can honestly happy to report that Dora in the Lost City of Gold was actually pretty good. The biggest praise of this movie definitely goes to the performances of its main lead, the always talented and gorgeous Isabella Monero. Now, Isabella Monier has always been a great actress ever since 100 Things to Do Before High School, and she was great in that show. Even though I'm not a fan of Transformers The Last Night, she was one of the bright spots of that movie. And I thought she was terrific in Sicario de Soldado. She was great in the book adaptation of Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. And last year, recently, she was very entertaining and amazing in instant family and Monero is going to have a great career ahead of her after this movie because it's Dora she's energetic she's hilarious fun to watch and she fits the qualifications of Dora and she's pretty much what you expect her to be as Dora even when I first saw the picture of her as Dora I said to myself even if the film isn't good she's gonna do great and I stood by those words but the film was, was good itself so she was easily the standout of this entire movie. As far as the rest of the cast goes, I think the other cast members were pretty great as well. Michael Pena and Eva Longoria as Dora's parents are really great, even though they don't get much to do as they should in their roles, but they're still pretty great for the, what they, they have. Jeff Wahlberg, the cousin of Mark Wahlberg, his cousin Diego, I thought he was pretty fun in the movie. Danny Trejo as the voice of Boots, I thought he was entertaining to watch. Benicio Del Toro as Swiper was cool, and Eugenio Derbez was pretty fun in his role as Alejandro as well. Now Alejandro could have came off as annoying, but I'm very glad he wasn't. 
And the attitudes you played your teenagers were pretty good as well, but I'll get back to that in my negatives. Also, I was very surprised about how much heart and emotion that was brought into this movie, which is what the trailers didn't show you. So if you want to see this movie, do not watch those trailers because those trailers doesn't show you what you really want to see. The emotion didn't feel for us and were not well done in the film. It, it actually felt natural and it worked for the film's story and tone. So I'll give the director and writers credit for that. Which that leads me into the direction and the writing. As far as direction goes, James Bobbin directs this movie pretty darn well, a lot. Which was another thing I was worried about, but the direction turned out pretty well. And Dora is another strong female character that a lot of girls can look up to, like Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch, Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. Mal and Evie from the Descendants Trilogy, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Rosa Salazar as Alila, etc, etc. But, Dora fits well into that category of strong female heroines in film. And what I like about the director is that just like with Travis Knight and Bumblebee, he does one thing right that I was afraid of. He doesn't over sexualize Dora. Do, do you hear me, Michael Bay? Which was another thing I was fe that I feared was that Dora was going to be heavily overly sexualized, considering the fact that Isabella Monaire is an 18 year old. And I'm happy to report they didn't do that. Also, the writing is pretty solid here, aside from a few flaws in the script by Nicholas Stoller and Matthew Robinson, who takes advantage of this film's hour and 42 minute long runtime, with some great scenes of fun, emotion, and action sequences. As far as technical aspects go, the music by John Debney and Jermaine Falcono is really great. Cinematography it, all the way through is very well done, it, all the color grading is well done by Javier. I, Aguirre's Rogue, that was really well done, and this movie looks really well done. Editing is very nice, too, by Mark Everson. Not to mention, there are moments where Isabella Monero does show off her beautiful singing voice, which is really great, and you do have some singing in here by Isabella Monero, especially this one song, which cracked me up. And the fun that seems is our joy to watch. There is no shaky cam, no quick cuts, no quick editing. I can see every last minute of the little action that this movie has to offer. And I can't deny that CGI on Boost is really well done. And some of the other effects for a small budget in this movie is really great. I was really impressed with Boots, Swiper, he looked pretty decent as well. And this movie reminds me a lot of the Indiana Jones films with a mix of Uncharted, but with Uncharted was for kids. And it reminds me of Bill Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle in so many scenes. Now, as far as the issues with Dora and the Lost City of Gold goes, some of the writing isn't really that great. And there are some jokes in this movie that did not need to be there. And there is a scene where... There is a joke that is kind of like Deadpool, which they kind of rip off. While I didn't mind that joke, that joke definitely did not need to be, be there. And also the teenagers that are with Dora on this adventure are so god darn annoying. I can't even tell you how many times I want these characters to go away, even at points where I just wanted to tell them, shut up. Because that's literally how I felt about them. And I know that's how some teenagers are nowadays, but... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell them, hey, shut up. I can't tell you how many times they got, they got on my nerves, especially the, the girl. And I felt like it was just, if it was just Dora, Boots, Diego, possibly Alicia, or you could have fixed that up, 
then I wouldn't be as annoyed by the annoying teenagers. Because every time one of the teenagers opened their mouth and complained, mainly the girl, I wanted to just just um shut up you're in the jungle also the stakes could have been a bit higher but for the action that you do get it's pretty fun to watch and there are moments in the action scenes where the characters doesn't come out with any bruises battle wounds or some scars but it's pg so what can you really do and also some of the humor doesn't really quite work especially a amazing joke by made by Isabella Monera in the film while the main delivers a lot of funny moments the humor with the teenagers was hit and miss some of it good and some of it bad overall I gotta tell you Dora and the Lost City of Gold is definitely one of the better films of 2019 definitely one of the better summer movies made this year and one of the more surprises of the year it's a very fun entertaining kids movie that it's fun for the whole family and with some fun money moments and entertaining humor for the most part and a great performance from the lovely and incredible Isabella Monero who I can't wait to see more of. I am going to give Dora and the Lost City of Gold an epitastic. Again, it does have its flaws, but this is a pretty entertaining film. So yeah, there's an epitastic for me. So let me know in the comments below what you think of Godzilla, I mean, during Lost City of Gold. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys keep cool and join the epitaphs.